Hey there, I'm Nat. I'm Jody, And we're the authors of the International House Sitting Book. So hopefully you've downloaded that by now and you're getting into it. Get out there and house it. That's, That's what we it. say. <laughs> uh, so I am literally writing an email to you at the moment. And then I went, oh, this is turning into like an epic uh, <laughs> sort of novel here. So best we stop and just record this video. Um, what had happened during the week was we were invited to go live in a Facebook group full of travelers and digital nomads. And a lot of people were asking about, um, you know, the, the cost of house sitting with regards to do you have to pay your own way there? And, you know, do you get paid? So of mm. course, no, you don't get paid. Uh, and you'll know that if you've read the book as well from the international standpoint. It's not to say people don't get paid, yes. but um, the way that we uh, choose to teach the international house sitting uh, aspect is to be doing it through the trust economy, the, the fair exchange, which means that some of the house sitters out there are fully self-funded, you know, whether they're retired or they've got investment incomes or whatever. And many of us, um, including us, uh, actually have to make money on the way. So the topic was how do you afford this lifestyle and we just wanted to shoot this quick video to tell you our lifestyle has cost next to nothing um, pretty much at least for the first eight years of traveling yep. and uh, it's only been probably in the last year or so that we've been making more than what our lifestyle cost. <laughs> so we're grown up now and we actually get to invest in things. Uh, so yeah, what happened a couple of months ago that really sort of started changing things for you? Um, I've always been a really hard worker. I think that's in my family. And uh, the last, yeah, nine years that we've been traveling, I feel like I've looked at a computer screen more than I've looked at anything else um, on our travels. and. I don't know, something just shifted me, with me one day. Uh, Jody was off walking with the dogs, uh, with friends of ours. Another friend of ours was sitting on the veranda here and I was inside working still and something just hit me and I went, what on earth am I doing? Sharon, a friend is sitting having a wine on, a on our veranda <laughs> and I'm not even out there. And I was like, this is ridiculous. Like what on earth am I doing? Why am I working so damn hard? To what end? And Jodie had been talking about the whole semi-retirement thing for a while, and I just passed it off as a bit of a joke and thought it was a bit of a laugh. Um, but it actually finally hit me and I went, you know what, yes, I'm done. I'm at 50, 52, I was like, I'm done. I've worked really hard over all these years, um, decades of working hard. And I was like, I want to enjoy my travels. I want to get out and about. I want to have the money as well, not just to be skimping along and just sort of just scraping into you know, having the flight to get to the next place, I want to actually enjoy it. I want to go to a hotel if we feel like going to a hotel. We've been doing full-time international house sitting the entire time we've been traveling. So that really shifted for me. Everything just sort of crumbled in the one minute and I was just like, that's it, I'm done. Like. <laughs> so we'd also met a, um, a number of people coming through this amazing city here in Mexico, Guanajuato, which we're on a seven month long house sit with. And uh, they are FIRE, which is Financially Independent Retire Early. And they are as young as, you know, in their late 30s, early 40s, like literally fully retired. Mm. And yet we've got some um, amazing house sitting friends uh, who actually say, no, you never retire, you just rewire. And for us in this age bracket now, it sort of didn't feel right to say we're going to retire because we love actually working. We love doing creative projects. We love all the stuff we've done over the years. Mm. Um, we just wanted to do less of it and take more time out. And uh, yeah, so it was a real rewiring. Um, so the biggest shift actually happened, I think, when that happened to Nat, when she finally sort of you know, saw the light like I had been <laughs> seeing for a little while. And thankfully, through my connections, uh, we were introduced to a, a beta training program, um, which was actually teaching this incredible crypto strategy where you're fully in control of your own finances. Um, you're getting empowered to be in control of your, your own finances and very intentional with your investment strategy. Uh, so yeah, it was like this perfect sort of storm of like good, good timing and um, we just started on it and the last couple of months we've seen numbers that are just blowing us out of the water going oh wow like this is literally at the moment with with the little we have invested a part-time income uh, but eventually we'll be able to make it a full-time income and yep. then we really are making the choice of when do we want to work what do we want to work on what creative projects do we want to roll out um, we're not big on the idea of working on the clock for somebody whether that's being a freelancer or, or, or being an employee we've we've gone more down the entrepreneurial creativity side um, but now we get to invest so 
Uh, what we've discovered in talking to people in the last couple of months is that even though there's a whole bunch of people around the world that are getting into crypto, um, not many of them know how to do it. So we set up a Facebook group. We did, uh, yeah, to help people get into crypto because it is a bit of a, a new thing. Uh, we've been into it for a couple of years now. We love cutting edge technology and new things. But um, we were really ad hoc with what we were doing. But we have been, and I think a lot of people are when they get into crypto, they don't really know what they're doing. And so they just hear about coins and they think, oh, okay, it's going up like 200%. Yep, I'll jump on that. Like my brother's a classic example. He's just doing that right now and he's made a mozza of money, um, but very ad hoc, that's the thing. It's, it's, there's it's more no like gambling. No strategy behind it, it's very much like gambling. Yeah. So what I like about this um, crypto bot that we're doing right now, the strategy is, it is a lot more intentional, but what it also does is pay a daily profit. And I haven't seen anything else that's doing that, uh, that is, I would say 99% passive. Yes, you've got to set them up and you've just got to watch them a little bit, but the whole idea is that it's set up you make your you know, small investment. For the first time, I can probably see that a small investment actually would end up creating a full-time income for us. And that is like crazy. That's so just blowing me out of the water. It's been a total mindset shift. Um, I now have um, my <laughs> wife back. She's not working all the time. And uh, yeah, it's cool. It's like we do love what we do with you know helping people and, and doing our digital courses and uh, creative projects and yeah. anything online. Um, but yeah, we're shifting it up a bit and we're looking at uh, taking it a little bit more easier uh, and enjoying the space. It's been great here in Guanajuato having a whole bunch of people come through and meeting them and hanging out with them. That's what we're here to do. Yeah. So yep. it's about having money work for us now, not always working for money. So yes. hopefully this video has helped create a little bit of a mindset shift for you. If, you've, if you're crypto curious, uh, come along mm -hmm. to the Facebook group. You'll find the link um, you know, either under this video or in the email that I've sent out. And uh, yeah, come and join us. Um, there is actually an opportunity to take part in the final beta round of this uh, crypto plan and strategy, which Nat mentioned about bots, uh, so they're automated grid bots. If it's all jargon, it doesn't matter, oh, but right uh, <laughs> you, can, you can come and learn about it just by coming into the Facebook group. Um, I'm honestly just, you know, I'm a bit of a crypto geek now and I just love helping people get started because you need to, you need to be in crypto. That's my 100% belief. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Everything will be changing very shortly. Absolutely. <laughs> and we, it's going. we love being at the leading edge of stuff and yeah. this is where this is at now. So definitely. Anyway, um, affording a house sitting lifestyle, you might not need to have any income. You might just want to actually save up and live off your own investments uh, and not have to work and just enjoy socializing and having fun and getting out and about. Uh, but if you do want to travel with house sitting part time, full time or anything, it's nice to have money working for you instead of you working for it. That's our final word. That's it. I can't say it any better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. Bye.